everyone, it's Kim, and today I'm going to be talking about synchronicities. Now, I call synchronicities breadcrumbs. They are like breadcrumbs that lead you down a path. They let you know that you're on the right path, or they're giving you some kind of signs, you know, signs from the universe, and that's what synchronicities are to me. They could be messages from yourself. They could be messages from, you know, the ethereal, from the universe, from God, the source, from angels. Um, whatever you know you want to call it it's some kind of a message or you know just something to let us know that we need to you know stand up and pay attention the one thing though about synchronicities is that not everything revolves around you not everything relates to you so if you're very connected to owls or birds or butterflies you know not every time you see an owl is it like a ooh, I gotta pay attention to that no what you're doing is you're looking for a series of synchronicities. That's what makes it a synchronicity. When you have like a whole series where it kind of comes together, like I said, they're like breadcrumbs. And when you get these breadcrumbs, these synchronicities, it helps you to put together what I call the a cosmic puzzle. It's like you're trying to put together a puzzle, but you don't have the box, you don't have the picture. And so synchronicities or these signs or these messages help you to put together pieces of the puzzle even though you don't have the picture or the box. That's kind of how I look at it. Sometimes it's um, synchronicities toward a, a big thing or sometimes it's just a synchronicity toward like a small thing. And, and let me give you an example. Maybe you get synchronicities regarding um, an interview that you're going on for you know a job you know and you get that interview. Let's say you you get that job and you're not quite sure whether you should take that job or not. And you might get a series of synchronicities that kind of points you in that direction that yes, you should take that job. Um, but then there could be something even like grander, bigger synchronicities related to um, you know past life or your your overall mission, your purpose, why you're here on this planet, and that's something that's you know kind of bigger than than smaller things, if that makes any sense. So there's all kinds of synchronicities. Um, there's all kinds of situations in which synchronicities happen, and I think the the key to it is to pay attention. Um, and write down ones that really resonate with you. Like when you see something and you're like, wow, wait a minute, that's interesting. Um, how does it make you feel? Like pay attention to your own physical sensations and your own intuition. How does that make you feel? Does it feel like it's something that you're supposed to be paying attention to? Or does it just feel like some random incident? I do believe there is some randomness. I don't think that everything is a synchronicity for you, like I said. Um, and again, you're going to be putting it together and only you really know if it's important for you or not. And I would never say, oh, that's not important to you. That's kind of silly. That's just some bird flying. But you need to know for yourself and you'll figure it out. So, you know, look for things. Listen to conversations that are around you, uh, certain like posts that show up on Facebook. You know, put that all together and, and it'll help you in answering some questions. Or sometimes it doesn't necessarily help you with a question, but it just kind of lets you know that the universe is on your side, that you are on the right path, that kind of thing. So I'm going to tell you um, this story. And this story is a big synchronicity in of itself. There's so many layers of synchronicity in this story that it just, it's mind boggling to me. All right, so I have this story that had this thing that happened. True story. This is not fiction. This really happened. Um, happened two years ago, and I had written it down. I had put it on Facebook. I said, "Look what happened. You know, look at all these synchronicities here." And this was exactly two years ago. And I I was thinking the other day. You know, I really need to make a video about that story because it just really, really stuck with me. So I said, I'm going to make a video about that synchronicity story that happened. And then that same day, I got that message, you know, from Facebook with the reminders, you know, oh, look what happened a year ago or two years ago. Do you want to share that? And it was the same story. Oh my gosh. It, my synchronicity story came up as a synchronicity. So I was like, Okay, I think I'm going to definitely share that story with everybody and make a video about it. It was just really in my face to make this video. 
I didn't realize it was exactly two years ago. Like this time, I didn't know. I didn't even realize it just came up that, you know what? I really need to make that video. So here we are today. And this is why I'm making the video right now is because the synchronicity of it just was like, you gotta do it. Right? So, so here's the synchronicity story. I was asked by a friend to go pick up her daughter from school, which is something that friends do. Now, my daughter was at play practice, so um, I had to take a separate trip because my daughter wasn't getting out at the same time as my friend's daughter. Like, no big deal. I'll go get your daughter. So I go to the school to pick her up, and they require that you have a, a license or picture ID in order to pick up another person's child, which I think is a great thing. And I just happen to have forgotten my wallet. I know, bad me driving without my wallet. So I said, all right, I'll go home and I'll go get it. And I'm like, I'm kind of frustrated. I'm like, really, this is what I get for like, you know, offering to help a friend out. So I'm a little frustrated and I have to take another trip across town. So I go home, I get my wallet, get back in the car, driving around the corner. Just I just barely get around the corner from my house and I see this woman who I've never seen before. And she's on the side of the road sitting in a puddle. So I'm like, okay, what, what do I do about this? Do I keep driving um, or do I stop and see how she's doing? What's going on? I mean, mind you, I have to go pick up my friend's daughter from school. So I, I actually, I drive really slowly and um, I pass her and I decide maybe I'm not going to stop because I see that she's standing up. But then she fell back down. I'm like, oh, I can't. Can't do it. So I pull over and I figured, well, you know, what's a couple minutes of my time? You know, my daughter, my friend's daughter's at school. I'm sure it'll be okay. So I pull over and I ask the woman if she's okay. And she's very distraught and very confused and um, just needed help. I mean, she, she couldn't stand. She had sprained her ankle or she couldn't walk and um, she was wet. And so what does one do? You know, um, I, uh, you know, I asked her if I can give her a ride somewhere or call somebody. And she happens to live around the corner, just like up the street and around the corner kind of thing. So I was like, you know what, I'll give you a ride home. And, um, and she was like, okay. So I was taking a chance. I admit I was taking a risk, but I was like, really, what is this woman going to do to me? Unless she pulls out pepper spray or something. I don't know. Um, I don't necessarily recommend we pick up strangers, but I just had an intuitive feeling that it was okay and that I was supposed to do this. So um, I helped her into the car and it was a lot of work, but I got her into the car and um, we're talking. Now, mind you, I can't go pick up my friend's daughter now because I have a stranger in the car. So I can't put the daughter at risk. You know, um, I need to bring this woman home first and then go get my friend's daughter. So I get the woman in the car and we're chatting, like it's only a couple minutes drive and we're chatting and uh, she said she grew up in the same town that, that, that I live, that I'm living in now and that's where I grew up as well. And, um, and she's, and she, were at, you know, what year did you graduate, blah, blah, blah. And then she told me what year she graduated and, she, and I said, how old are you? She goes, I'm 36. And I almost like just stopped right there, you know. Now 36 is my number, you, you guys probably see a lot of my stuff, I think my YouTube channel is Crystal Connection 36. Um, and I just, that's a number that I use a lot. And the reason I use that number so much is because that is my high school drama room. That's where I hung out. That's where I felt like most at home during high school was room 36. And so it's like, to me, that's home, right? And, or another home. And that's why I use that number all the time. It's very, very important to me. I see it everywhere so when she told me she was 36 i was i was comforted you know i didn't think it was that big a deal but i was comforted that okay it's all right um to bring this woman home i'm safe i'm good i'm doing the right thing so i get her home drop her off make sure she gets in the house and so now i'm like really like oh gosh i gotta hurry so i start rushing a little bit to go pick up my friend's daughter and who i also went to high school with by the way and graduated the same year so, um, and her friend and her daughter and my daughter are like besties. So it's like kind of another little minor synchronicity, commonality. So I'm, I'm rushing to go pick up my friend's daughter and I look down and I realize my wallet is gone. Yeah. I'm like, 
I can't go pick up my friend's daughter without my wallet. Um, I, I, and I'm looking through the car, and I'm like, oh, my God, this is what I get. This is what I get for helping my friend out. This is what I get for helping a stranger out, you know. And I'm, like, just really, like, starting to get upset, you know, rightly so. Um, so I decide, you know what, she must have picked it up by accident. Because I had my wallet, like, in between the driver's side and the passenger side. And um, she must have just picked it up by accident because she had a purse and she put her purse down on top of, of my wallet. And so I figured it was just an accident. Um, so I had to go back and um, her parents answered the door. Her father answers the door and, she, and said, oh, you know, so-and-so is sleeping. I'm like, really already? Like, I just dropped her off, but okay. Um, I said, well, my, wallet, my wallet's gone. And I, and I said, and I'm I'm, I need it. I need my ID to go pick this this girl up from school. I mean, that's what I was most concerned about was was fulfilling my commitment to pick up my friend's daughter. So um, the guy goes and he looks around. He can't find the wallet. And I'm like, I know, I know she has it. I'm like, look, I don't think she stole it. I don't think that's the case. But I just think that she accidentally picked it up. So he goes back in. He looks around. He comes back out with my wallet. And I'm like, oh, thank the universe, you know. So he gives me the wallet. We talk. He has the um, the woman's daughter, um, the woman's mother comes out too, and they're both very thankful that I brought their daughter home, and I feel good, yay, I feel good about myself. Now, meanwhile, I'm really, really late, I'm like 20 minutes late, I'm taking my friend's daughter up from school, but I did a good thing, I'm doing double good thing here, you know, I help somebody at home, I'm going to pick up my friend's daughter, I'm like, yes, I'm doing good, I'm doing good, I feel good, you know. Um, so I go and I, and I, um, I get to the school and I go pick up my friend's daughter, yay, and, um, had my wallet, my ID, so that was good. And so at that point it was like kind of late and I said I might as well just wait 10 more minutes for my own daughter to come out. She was at play practice, again, related to that 36, you know, and, um, drama, my drama, the play, so I was like, this is kind of funny that my daughter's at play practice. Um, so, um, I decided to just wait 10 minutes and it was okay, you know, that I had my friend's daughter and we were just waiting for my daughter to come out. And so I got out of the car, which I like almost never do. I don't know why I got out of the car, but I got out of the car and I'm waiting for my daughter and I see the man, the, the father of the woman who I dropped off at home. I know, like, I, really? So I, I run into him, and I'm like, oh, hi, you know? Like, long, long time no see. I'm like, 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 this is why I was in a hurry, because I was telling him I have to go. I have to go. I have to go get my daughter and her friend. And um, and he's like, oh, he goes, my granddaughter's in the play. And I'm really? So it turns out that the woman who I picked up, her daughter is in the play with my daughter, and it was just such a small small world like so synchronistic that I was just totally blown away by this experience and um you know everybody got home safe everybody got to where they need to go and and I just what's the moral of the story I mean you know you these things happen all these like I said this is layers of synchronicities it told me that I was on the right path um when the woman said she was 36 told me that I was on the right path and I felt good about helping her and I knew I was doing the right thing even though I was late and picking up my friend's daughter I knew I was doing the right thing and like that whole circle was just completed when I I ran into the woman's father whose granddaughter the woman's daughter was in the same play as my daughter and it just was like a complete circle of synchronicities if you can you can imagine how that all came to be and then two years later to be thinking, I got to do a video about this, and then Facebook telling me, oh, you have this memory from two years ago. Do you want to share it? And I'm like, hell yeah, I want to share it. That's why I want to make the video. So the whole thing was synchronistic. Um, I think it makes for a great um, reminder to help each other out um, when, when we need, you know, when we have people that are in need that, you know, to extend ourselves to help. To me, that's what the story was about, because I was very um, on edge about picking up a stranger and I was kind of pissed off that I didn't have my ID and I had to go back and forth and I was like oh, this is what I get for helping somebody you know and I was getting angry and frustrated about it but the whole thing when it all came together at the end of the day I was like wow I did like so doubly good today and I felt so awesome about myself 
and, and all these synchronicities all happening. And so it was a really good, at the end of the day, a really good story. It ended well. Maybe not all stories would end that well. But for me, it did. And it was a beautiful moment. And I wanted to take the time to, to tell that story and to share that with you guys. And also for you to look for your own synchronicities. What resonates with you? You know, um, those are things like rainbows or certain flowers or numbers or whatever. Now, like I said in the beginning, I don't think everything is a sign. I don't think every rainbow is a sign from our deceased loved one. I don't think so. But if there's other things that happen along that way that kind of like come together to create a message for you, that's what you need to look for are patterns. And I think that's what the important thing is, is to look for the patterns, not so much the randomness, but the patterns of synchronicities and how they fit together to form a message for you. So I just wanted to share that. I would love to hear in the comments below, do you have any, any stories related to synchronicities or special signs um, that you look for that help you know that you're on the right path or help you make decisions? Um, I would love to hear from you as well. So take a moment. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and share this video with others. Give me a thumbs up. I, I love to hear from you guys. You know I take the time to answer you back. So let me know in the comments below. What are some of your signs? What are some of your synchronicities? What do you look for to help you on your journey? Thank you so much for joining me today. And as always, have a blessed day. Bye.